what appealed to you about the script for Lucky Seven? Uh, well, I thought it was a, a, a different type of show than you see on, on TV nowadays. Uh, uh, I love the fact that it was about blue collar, real people with real, um, uh, real problems, real happinesses, real joys in their life. Um, for me personally, the character was that as well. I mean, to work in a gas station in Astoria, Queens, is just so rich. There's so much. Uh, there's so much going on in that world and in his life to be able to do a Queens accent. I mean, there's just so many things about the the character in the world that are just juicy. I guess, uh, for lack of a better way to describe it. Uh, and, and are a lot of fun to play and, and are very interesting for an actor. Absolutely. I was fortunate enough to play my character, Denise, in the UK version, The Syndicate, um, which, which is a big hit over in the UK. It's going into its third season. And so when I got a phone call to say um, that Mr. Spielberg was looking to um, make this program in the USA for the ABC network, I was just absolutely over the moon because I fell completely in love with my character the first time that I met her. I love her innocence, I love her sweetness, the vulnerability, the desire to make other people happy. Um, I'm a bit geeky, I'm a bit quirky. Um, it's just such a sweet, sweet, sweet character to play. And also, I have to say, all of the characters, all seven people in the show, are in their own right little stars. I mean. I'm pretty sure that you could open the door to any gas station in America or any store or any office and you would find seven equally interesting people with stuff going on in their lives. But it just so happens that in this story, my friends have just won the lottery. So it's a, it's, it's a wonderful mix of uh, fantasy because uh, we get to in some way see our dreams come true but also reality because we've got all of this stuff that we had going on in our worlds before we won and we're not polished the people in this show we're real we've got flaws and we're lovable with it there's a lot of heart to it and it makes every day a real joy to go in and work with seven great actors on on the scripts in the story did you prepare much for the role I came into this very last minute. They were actually already shooting the pilot when I got a phone call about this job. I, I didn't, I'd never read the pilot at that, read the script at that point. I didn't know that it was out there. Uh, and so I read the script and said yes to it, absolutely. And I was on a plane the next day and they were already shooting, like I said. So I had basically two days over the weekend to prepare my character and work with the dialect coach and, and work with my the guy who plays my brother, Stephen Lewis Grush, who is fantastic. He plays Nicky. Um, so I didn't have a chance to meet anyone or talk to anybody who won the lottery. I just had to hit the ground running. And, you know, they don't know what it's like either. The characters aren't prepared for that moment. So, uh, you know, I just thought about when I the jobs that I've booked and, and the elation that comes with that and the feeling of being so incredibly lucky and so incredibly blessed. Um, and, and the day and, your daughter was just born well, yeah, recently. Matt, she was. Matt, Matt has a brand new baby girl. Yeah, but she hadn't been born at that time. And uh, obviously that is the most amazing day of my entire life. It's the most <laughs> intense and incredible experience I've ever been a part of. It's hard to describe it. Honestly, yeah. words cannot describe it. Unless someone has a child, I think they can't really understand it and I can't convey it. It is so unbelievable. But anyway, um, I hadn't had that experience yet, so I had to think about, you know, jobs that I had gotten yeah. and shows that had been picked up and things like that, because we kind of win the lottery when we get jobs and, and things I think happen. that's the point, though, you know. I think that as humans, there's every single one of us, okay, we might not have won the lottery, but every single one of us has had some point in our life, whether it's the birth of a child or, you know, anything really, where you just looked up and you just looked up to the heavens and gone, wow thank you for this moment this is amazing i feel so blessed i think that is is a moment that we've all shared as as human beings do you believe in luck absolutely absolutely i do listen i woke up this morning and looked out across um central looked out from my hotel across central park and the sun was shining and the horses down below and the guys put the flowers in the horses reins i mean come on Who's not lucky? Uh, yeah. Who's not lucky? It's a, uh, it's um, uh, I think it's something that is ever present in our life, and gratitude is ever present. But it's just whether or not you want to tune into that aspect of it. 
you know, because I could have been looking out the window going, boy, those horses smell bad. But instead I was going, it's all about yeah, your look at the flowers in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> it's about perspective and uh, priorities. It is. Yeah. It absolutely is. Yeah. Do you believe that money can buy happiness? Well, I mean, I think it does solve some problems, but I think there are many problems in our lives that money can't solve at all. I mean, for instance, my character uh, in the, the episode that aired last week, you know, him and his brother decide to rob the gas station. And Matt does it to, to improve his family's situation because he's been given an ultimatum by Mary that, that she's going to take the kids and move out if I can't get them out of that house. Uh, and the money can't help that whatsoever. I mean, he could he could be the richest man in the world and still have to answer for that, for, for doing that. So we'll see how that continues to play out. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And every character in the show has something like that, that money can't fix. Uh, and that's life. I mean, that, that makes it sound like it's down, but I think the show really focuses on sort of the joys of life and, and, and the fun of, of watching us all experience these things and go through, sure, there are, there's a lot of drama and a lot of things that happen, but I think uh, it's the characters are so big, like we've said, and so interesting that it's it's fun to watch these people try to work out their problems and issues with each other and, and individually in their own lives. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of warmth in the group of people, you know. Mm -hmm. um, they, they operate together, they work together in this shop, but they operate together like a family. And I think that when you've got people around you that care about you and support you and that understand you and accept you, you can pretty much get through anything. Um, so I, th I think that's, that's a big part of what is going on in the series, really. We've got stuff happening and, and we're, we're, we're going for it together. Follow us on Twitter at, at Lucky7ABC. We'll be live tweeting during episodes as well.